Hey, this is Howard White. I'm out in front of a Triple S, you know, as we, unfortunately for a very sad occasion. I'm down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, for those that are tuning in around the world. And really, it was just a murder. I mean, that's what it was. Two cops supposed to have been doing their jobs. One black man dead. You know, a guy in front of me is a gentleman that uh, is no stranger to Baton Rouge and really to the entertainment world. A guy by the name of, uh, I call him TJ. Yes, you know, TJ Jemison, the perfect 10. But TJ, talk about having to see this here in your hometown, man. I mean, this is extremely eye-opening for it to be here in your backyard. I mean, this is our Ferguson. You know, this is our national story, and it's just a, a horrific occasion to have this kind of national spotlight shed on your city for such a senseless reason. Uh, I mean, more tapes and more information is being developed, and you can see that it's just a case of cold-blooded murder. I mean, I don't have to have my political hat on. You know, I'm not running for office, so from the taste I've seen is cold-blooded murder. Yeah. Period, point blank. And it's extremely unfortunate that it's happening in our city, let alone this world. You know, TJ has a, a young visionary leader, and I call you that, man, because of what you do in this uh, arena, business is your own. What can you do not to help the community rebound? This is something you don't rebound from, but really to help move forward and prevent it from happening again. Well, we have to educate, uh, we have to retrain, and we have to pray, man. Uh, at the end of the day, that's all we can do is pray and lean not onto our own understanding and just, just pray for them people in this world that have that kind of cold-blooded mentality and you know in the same breath I'll still tell you it's not all police you know it's not all policemen across the country I have great friends and fraternity brothers and people I'm watching the band with and all over the country that are police officers and they do their job every day and protect, protect and serve but there are bad apples in every, every profession and this is obviously a case of some bad apples. You know if people want to reach out and and help. Hey, what are some ways that you know of now? I know you've been a little closer to the ground and than most. Uh, if you would, give some folks some ways they can reach out. Well, just, you know, we are blessed. It's a gift and a curse, but we're blessed to be in the social media age. I would just say stay in tune to all social media outlets. I'm sure there'll be many developments on how the, the family can receive assistance. There'll be many developments on how we can help get this young man buried and some things that we can do, some funds that will be raised to assist in taking care of his children, his five children that have to go on without their father. So just stay, keep your ear to the street, keep your, you know, your eyes on social media, and, and I'm sure if, if you're interested, you know what it be and what, what it be found. All right, TJ, we'll let you go ahead and get set up, man. Thanks again for uh, taking a little time out. Hey, this is Howard White with the Survivor Radio Network as we are in front of the Triple S on the corner of Foster and Fairfield down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Senseless killing of Alton Sterling. Hey guys, don't let this happen in your neighborhood. Last year it was Ferguson. It was Ferguson just, uh, and we thought it couldn't happen here. But here it is. So I challenge you, don't allow it to happen with you.